Hello Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your connection in love for October. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with everybody. If you'd like a personal reading, then I'll leave the information in the description box below. So what is going on? For Sagittarius in love for October. What is going on for Sagittarius in love for October? We have wedding. This situation involves marriage. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And past life relationship. You have known each other before. Wow, Sagittarius. So, I'm getting like, you have this person obsessed with you. Like, they are addicted to you in some type of way. And I feel like um, you're on the right path when it comes to this person. Um, this could possibly be somebody who you're meant to marry in the future. Regardless, I feel like there's going to be some type of higher form of commitment coming your way. Or this could be somebody who uh, somebody who sees you as marriage material. But I feel like this goes deep for you guys, this connection. And I feel like this is somebody who you've had a past life with. Um, this could possibly be somebody from your past who maybe you are married to that you're dealing with. But I, And I feel like you're going to end up uh, having some type of conversation with this person and it's going to be very consistent. I feel like things between you guys are starting to move very quickly. It uh, could be a Leo Aries Sagittarius like yourself that you're dealing with or a Pisces. But I feel like... Wow, and I feel like in this connection, where things are headed, I feel like things have been left in the dark in the past between the both of you guys, and now somebody's wanting to come forward, and they're wanting to bring things to light, and they're wanting to balance this situation with you and compromise in some type of way that will make you happy, and this person has been hesitant on coming forward with you um, because they are, have had a lot of fears here. Um, you could also be dealing with a Scorpio, but I feel like this connection that you're dealing with, um, there could have been some type of ending between you guys in the past, and now I feel like things are going to start to transform in this connection, and things are moving quickly towards possibly a new beginning. So this could be the death of one uh, cycle between you and this person and the beginning of another. So under wedding, it could literally be like the end of singlehood, the death of being single and this person communicating towards you um, that they want something, something else. They want something else with you. Could be also Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus here. But this person wants commitment with you. They want to offer you their devotion. And they want to get to know you. And I feel like... I feel like you guys are both on kind of different speeds here. Somebody wants to move things quickly. And they just want it now. And then the other person is like barely even moving. Like barely even moving. But they have good intentions. Like their their head's in the right space, their heart is in the right space, and I feel like um, they're gonna express to you that they kind of want to slow things down in some type of way, but they want to offer you something as well. So this person is going to still be putting in the work and effort when it comes to you. They are going to invest in you, and that is their way of showing you how much they really. Um, love you and care about you so this person cares about you very deeply here and their love gesture or their way of showing love like they might not say it to you but they will show it and this could be after some type of ending or heartbreak in the past between you guys 
uh, where the things were very tense between you, the both of you. And I feel like this person or you was really worried and anxious and really stuck in their head about the situation and go literally going nuts over you or you're going nuts over this person and they were going literally went through so much to come to this point with you so because of this heartbreak they want to take it slow but their head is in the right space and it took a lot of this person to come forward and invest in this connection This could be somebody who there was like a tough ending with in the past. And I feel like because of that, you you might be hesitant towards this person and you're going to be very uh, like in your head about what they're offering you. You could also be dealing with a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio, or an Aries, or Libra. So this person or you has some type of deep-rooted abandonment issues with the Five of Pentacles here and um, they've had a lot of injustices done to them in the past so now it's like they are very cautious and they're trying to weigh out the pros and cons of the situation, weigh out the bad and the good um, because they don't want to be hurt again and they don't want to be left, they don't want to be abandoned. Um, you could be dealing with somebody who is an entrepreneur, possibly. But this person, even though, like, they have these deep-rooted, like, abandonment issues, and they might be needy, it, they do love very deeply. So this person is somebody who is available for love, emotionally stable for love. But at the same time, it's like... Look at all these court cards coming out. There could have possibly been some type of third party situation, somebody dating other people, having other options. But this person is going to end up nurturing this connection in October. So whoever this is, um, could be, again, we have two earth signs here. So Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, who you're dealing with. But they're going to end up nurturing this connection. And I feel like... I feel like the way that things are going is, is I feel like for some of you, things are going to be like some type of attachment as you get to know each other. Like you're going to end up feeling very like bonded to this person with a devil card. And I feel like somebody here is a little bit addicted to the other person. And I feel like you're, you guys are moving towards love. And there's going to be a lot of lust as well. So it's going to be a lot of lust um, as you nurture this connection here. Uh, somebody could have a child. So it could be a feminine figure who has a child. And that's something that it will always be a part of them. So if you get with this person, you also get with this child. And that may be, uh, as you get to know each other, you may find this out in October that somebody has a child. But I feel like you both are are at a point where you're available for love and you're willing to do this. And this could be somebody from your past who you haven't spoke to for a long, long time. And they've had the chance to mature into a, a king or a queen. So in the past they could have been a page and now they're showing up and they're acting more mature. So this could definitely be somebody who you had some type of conflict in the past. I feel like possibly by the end of the month, somebody is going to get really in their head. And this is something that they do like... It's like a problem where this somebody gets in their head, like even though their heart, heart isn't in the, in the right space, like they get in their head about it, they start to stress, they get anxious about commitment, and then like they sabotage the situation. So um, you might end up like by the end of the month possibly 
almost walking away or communicating that if things don't change, then you're going to end up walking away from this connection with the Five of Swords. So, but this could also just mean that this is somebody who you had conflict with in the past who's wanting to reconcile with you now. And there's going to be communication of that about what they want moving forward and we did see the four of wands so that could be commitment that is coming your way here what's going on with Sagittarius I feel like there's going to be some type of talk about where things going between the both of you guys and a dark male or somebody who's dark for their cultural background is going to be wanting to express their love to you through their investments and effort towards you. And I feel like in October, you're going to start to notice that this person um, is somebody who maybe doesn't have a lot of friends or somebody who they they fear that they get excluded so because of that they get really needy and you may notice that but i feel like you're gonna end up working towards something with this person here and you could be dealing with somebody or you could be somebody who is um bulky or tall um uh, mass very masculine could have like a uh, facial hair i'm hearing silver fox Somebody could be like, could have like gray hair, but this person, I feel like there's going to be a lot of sexual tension between you and this person in October. Okay. So I feel like more than anything, like for a very small few of you, you might end up walking away from this person because you feel like nothing's really changing. And they're making themselves seem as a king, but they're really a page. And then for others of you, like things are good. You're nurturing this connection. And there's um, a lot of sexual tension between the both of you guys. What else is going on? For Sagittarius in love in October... We have asked your angels. So ask your angels for guidance. Um, your person may be very spiritual. And they may be like trying to... They know that th something has to change here. Choose a new direction. So you may be uh, moving towards somebody new. And saying bye to the old. And then we have within the next few months. Peaceful resolution. There's going to be some type of peaceful resolution. Within the next few months. Or somebody's going to end up compromising. And I feel like um, you're going to have to speak your truth in October and be assertive. And I feel like you're going to end up doing that. Because you know what it is that you want moving forward here. So that's what I'm getting for you guys. If you like this reading, please comment, like, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos. Let me know if it resonated and I hope that you found guidance and clarity in your situation. Thank you for watching. Bye.